What's up guys, Digimodels here, happy Sunday. About to go get some breakfast burritos, pretty hungry. We didn't um, get to eat dinner last night, we were at a birthday party. So today I just wanna to talk about marketing, uh, you know, advertising, you know, social media. You know, this is how you get your brand out there to be known. So a lot of people think, oh, it's just, a brand is just a name, or it's just a logo, or, or some people believe it's the entire experience, and that's the correct answer, right? It's not just online, it's offline as well. It's every interaction, it's the words you use. So, you know, if you're in a certain field, domain of technology, or, you know, healthcare, um, logistics, uh, government, you know, everybody um, has certain languages they use. So, but those languages kind of constrain you from effectively communicating with other people um, using like layman terms, right? Or maybe the terms that they don't understand with your language, or they use terms in their own language that you probably won't understand as well, right? So there's like this Venn overlapping circle diagrams of everybody's languages, and those are called ontologies because certain words can be used in certain different contexts. So um, like acronyms as well. There's a lot of acronyms out there like AAA, AAA means a lot. Like it means insurance for some people and then it means batteries for other people. You know what I mean? So it all depends on the context of what you're saying. Now, what I'm getting at is marketing, right? You're trying to create a brand. You want to get your language right. You want to get your, your feelings right. You know, because it, it, people need to feel like they can trust your brand. And if you're just some no-name brand, you know, how are people going to know you? Let's say you just started your brand, like I did a few years ago, Digimodels.us. Go sign up, subscribe. So you start your new brand, you get a logo, you pay somebody 100 bucks for it, you pay me, you know, 1,000 bucks for the website, I'll just put it up real quick, but if you want to maintain it, that costs like 500 a month, so at the, at the minimum. But, you know, it's not just putting a website and then putting the damn logo on the website, like you gotta have information on there. And the words you use, like, and the way they're used, and the font, and the colors, like, it all plays into human psychology, right? And that, you know, blue is representation of trust. I use a lot of blue, but at the same time, like, IBM uses blue. You know, a lot of companies use blue. We don't see a lot of companies using a lot of red, right? It's jarring, right? It'll jar your eyes. So you don't want a website full of just red blood dripping down the page, right? That'd be kind of disturbing, unless you're making a, web, a, a vampire website or some crazy stuff. But, you know, like I'm saying, it's, it's all about brand. So I'm trying to communicate trust with my brand. Like, you can trust me that I will get the job done. I will integrate your technologies and I'll make your business better by getting you more sales, more clients, more contracts. So, and that brings in more revenue. If you win, then I win. If you lose, I don't get anything, you know? So, it's in my best interest, and I'm incentivized to help your business and your brand grow and become what it's, it's meant to be. You know, imagine everybody in the United States having their own business. Wouldn't that be amazing? It's like everybody, like, working off of each other locally, you know, plumbers, ITs, you know, health and sanitation, you know, hospitals, healthcare, like that. Um, you know, Costco, like logistics and products, services like internet and like rent, or if you own a home. So, you know, you can you can go a lot of different various ways, but essentially you need a good brand. And it's all about the entire ecosystem of how your brand makes people feel, the effect it makes them feel. Like, uh, do they feel like they're going to be able to get their their problems satisfied? People either need two things: they need like problem satisfied or they want to improve, right? So try to find a niche in those areas and then capitalize. Capitalize and make money doing something you love or else you're going to be stuck doing something you don't. All right, guys, I'm about to be at this burrito restaurant, so I'm going to see y'all later. Digimodels out. Peace.